Hey, what is up, YouTube? If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security Benefits, then you're going to want to stick around for the updated news that we have in this video just for you. Social Security proposals for the $2,400 extra in checks has been expanded and reintroduced into Congress. Democratic Senator Bernie Sanders has formally reintroduced the Social Security Expansion Act to Congress, and this time he had a lot more support from the fellow lawmakers pushing the incentive to get things moving for those on a fixed income. Today we're going to be talking about Social Security things happening. There's been proposed 20% cuts to your payments may come sooner than expected. Several have been waiting and wondering what's going to happen with Social Security and I don't blame you. It's more alarming news to understand that yet in just a few more years, in fact 2032, that your payments could be cut by 20% percent, which is very, very alarming because 66 million people currently receive benefits with the average coming in around $1,691, according to January 2023 data from the Social Security Administration. Cuts of 20% would see payments shrink almost $300, which is going backwards from the progress that made its increased benefits through the cost of living adjustments. We know that last year, 8.7% was the highest number ever. More than half of the retirees say even that the higher adjustment has been made, it still isn't enough to get on by. And would you agree? Social Security has been the subject of debate in recent weeks, and we know that the Republicans and Democrats alone are fighting head-to-head -head against this bill to cut things off for those on a fixed income. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, so many people have been worrying to see what resolution will President Joe Biden actually come up with. Several people do not understand why there hasn't been anything proposed. There's been a lot of things happening, but nothing. Nothing really set in stone. There hasn't been a resolution provided for those on a fixed income. Uh, not only that, but food stamps have already work requirements now, and the GOP lawmakers want tougher ones. 32 states to cut food stamps in March. It's been a very difficult time as we seem to be coming out of the pandemic, and hopefully things will get better. That's the point for things to get better and for the American people to be taken care of. The food stamp program already has work requirements for people in the U.S. government defined as able-bodied adults without dependents. In other words, younger workers who aren't disabled and who don't have kids or other dependents. But a group of Republican lawmakers say tougher work requirements are needed to close a loophole as well as to get more older food stamp recipients working in exchange for their benefits. Representative Dusty Johnson, a Republican from South Dakota, and more than 20 other Republican lawmakers on Tuesday introduced a bill called the America Works Act, which would end a waiver program that allows states to bypass work requirements for some of their residents. Currently, 18 states are using waivers that exempt residents from work requirements, the law said in a statement. However, the 32 states are set to cut food stamp benefits. The bill would also require more older workers to prove they have a job or are in training program in order to receive food stamps. Currently, able-bodied adults between 18 to 49 and who do not have any children are required to work at least 20 hours a week or enroll in a work training program to receive aid from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP the formal name for the food stamp program, but the bill would raise requirement from people of up to age 65, which the lawmaker says is in line with Medicare, the health insurance program for Americans age 65 and older. Several things to discuss, several things are happening when it comes to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, survivors, VA. So many people have been waiting for that 200 extra dollars per month. Yes, it's going to happen. The biggest question is when. We have so many advocates like Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, who are pushing for this. 
talking with President Joe Biden, saying it's time to make a difference for those on SSI, SSDI. So many people have been dependent on these checks to come in. And what is it going to take? Is it a recession? Is it things happening with war? Is it the war with Russia, China? Things are not looking too good, but hopefully we will get some things resolved. But guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all that you've done for me in this channel. Your love and support means the world. That's why we're giving away every Friday a Amazon gift card to one lucky subscriber and we're also giving away a $50 gift card in the month of April for one lucky member who has supported this channel for $2.99. Don't forget to jump in to win that free prize. Stay tuned. I've got more videos on the way. Until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace!